Greetings, lightsaber enthusiasts. In our last session, we delved into the crafting of blade styles. Today's tutorial takes us on an exciting journey through the customization of accent styles in the Saber Tech Configurator. Accent styles are the heart of your Saber's accent LEDs, providing that extra flair. While these LEDs are not a staple in every Saber, they add a decorative touch, like illuminating a button. We'll explore two types of accent styles, standby and ignited. Standby accent styles come into play when your saber's blade is off, adding a subtle glow to your hilt. Ignited accent styles, on the other hand, activate when the blade is powered on, enhancing the overall visual experience. Let's dive into the app's user interface. You'll find a dual-purpose drop-down menu for selecting accent styles. This intuitive menu adapts to the saber's state in the preview animation, displaying standby styles for an unignited blade and ignited styles for an active blade. <laughs> Alongside the menu, navigation arrows allow you to explore the style options, and buttons are available to add new styles or delete existing ones. Below the menu lies the heart of customization. The Golden Harvest V3 supports up to eight accent LEDs, split into two groups. In the first section, you manage the behavior of LEDs 1 to 4, setting their colors and intensity. This feature shines if you're using RGB or pixel LEDs, with a handy color picker for precise adjustments. Here, you can also infuse your saber with dynamic light effects like flickering or pulsing by selecting Customize Further. Today, we'll focus on essential customization aspects, such as color selection and the sequencer. The sequencer section is where the magic happens for accent LEDs. It allows you to choreograph them in captivating patterns, elevating your saber's aesthetic. This can be configured in the section sequencer. When you open this section, you'll find the mirror blade parameter. This feature allows you to enable or disable it for each of the eight accent LEDs individually, using their corresponding checkboxes. Activating mirror blade for an LED overrides its preset light effects, instead mirroring the light effects of the saber's blade. It's important to note that this feature is exclusively available for ignited accent styles, as it relies on the blade being active to reflect its effects. What's particularly intriguing is the independence of this feature from the sequencer. This means that even if you enable mirror blade for any of the LEDs, the sequencer's blinking patterns will continue to overlay. Essentially, this creates a layered visual effect, where the accent LED not only mirrors the blade's light effects but also adds its own sequenced blinking pattern on top offering a more complex and dynamic display. Now, let's focus on the sequencer's mechanics. This feature is an intricate dance of lights, consisting of 16 individual steps. Each step corresponds to a distinct pattern of activation for the eight accent LEDs, controlled through checkboxes. The pattern for each LED, whether it's on or off, is determined by its respective checkbox. The sequencer begins its light show with the first step, showcasing the designated on and off pattern, and then transitions to the subsequent steps. Further customization is at your fingertips with adjustable step durations. Directly below the sequencer, you'll find the on-time step parameters, allowing you to define how long each group of steps lasts. For instance, on time step 1 to 4 sets the duration for the first four steps, while on time step 5 to 8 applies to the next set. This level of control enables you to create a dynamic and rhythmic display of lights. Additionally, you have the option to introduce a pause between steps, where all accent LEDs temporarily go dark. This is controlled by the break time step parameters, adding an element of drama to your light sequence. Each duration and break time is measured in precise units of 6 milliseconds, offering you fine-tuned control over your saber's light choreography. 
After you've creatively adjusted your accent LEDs, whether by setting up intricate blinking patterns in the sequencer or by enabling the dynamic mirror blade feature, there's one crucial action to remember, saving your masterpiece. In the upper right corner of the app interface, you'll find the Save button. It's imperative to click this button to ensure all your edits are stored correctly. A key tip to bear in mind, before you switch between standby and ignited accent styles, make sure you've hit save. This step is essential to prevent the loss of any changes you've meticulously crafted. Also, keep in mind that editing the accent styles does not necessarily impact the appearance of your accent LEDs directly as you are editing only presets. You still have to link them to sound fonts with which they will be used. Thank you for joining this tutorial. Whether you're a seasoned Saber enthusiast or new to the world of lightsaber customization, we hope this session has ignited your imagination and equipped you with the tools to create a lightsaber that's not just a weapon, but a reflection of your personal saga. May the force of creativity be with you.